Hello, Mr. Ron Fuchs. How are you? I'm very well, thank you. I am talking into a neighborhood thespian. I feel so blessed. And I your name do. is what? Tracy? Tracy Turner. So pleased to meet you. Dear. I am back, actually in my old neighborhood that uh, when I first moved to Pittsburgh, this is where I lived with my parents. Wow. And I'm feeling a little emotional, a little nostalgic. I am yeah. in Point Breeze. Amen, sister. <laughs> Coming to my to my, my the famous Frick Mar Park Market, and right. I loved being here. It is famous because there was a rap singer who lived up on Lexington. Mac Miller. Mac Miller, that's right, he was our neighbor. And he made a uh, video of Frick Park Market. I know, it's, I know. It's world famous. Which is so. funny because my 16 year old listens to him. Yeah. Ah, tell yeah. him my age there a little yeah. bit. <laughs> he grew up here, his mother would shop here at Frick Park Market. Oh my goodness, yeah, I'm feeling some great. kind of way in a really yeah. good way. Tell yeah. me what you think, Ron, is so fabulous about um, Point Breeze. Well, the best thing about Point Breeze, I believe, is the people. Uh, they're wonderful people, they're kind. Everybody takes care of everybody else. The neighbors watch after everybody else. Mm -hmm. And so I believe the people, plus the merchants, like I knew Mike over here at Reynolds Market. He started over there when he was like 17 years old. He worked for the Kerman Brothers. Oh, okay. And then he finally took over, and he's still there. He's in his probably his 50s. And I remember the, the barbershop behind us. Uh -huh. And I remember way back when, when half of it was Joe's Shoemaker Shop. I remember. This is back in the 40s or 50s. Okay. And there was a Jerry Di Maria and his son. And then there was Charlie Di Francisco. And then there was Joe who passed on. And now we have Jim. Oh. Yeah. I remember the, 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 the auto body shop has always been here, just yeah. as the market has always been here. Yeah. I mean, we're talking 30 years ago. Yeah. Well, I remember when the gas pumps were right on the sidewalk, three of them. Oh, Way back. Serious? Yeah. How beautiful. Way back when. Well, I will say that this is a neighborhood where you see bikers. Yeah. People that walk their dogs, people yeah. that just walk. So mm -hmm. you got to know your neighbors and you actually spoke. Oh, so yeah. It was and a you real community. Speak. And you smile and you say good morning, and I'll say good morning back. So that's oh, very, very nice. Beautiful. And if somebody doesn't speak, you know, well, maybe they're having problems. Their, their mind is somewhere else, you know. Right. Because right. we're not always up. No, and it's okay to be yeah. down some days. Yeah, right. And, but the thing about it is this is a neighborhood, and when you're down, nobody, nobody beats yeah. you up. You can just that's be right. you. Exactly. This is Where great. Where do you see Point Breeze in 25 years? Oh, well, since I'm 77. And we'll be I'll right be here with us. Done. You'll be right here I with think us. It, well, I've been here since I was born in 36. I was baptized at St. Pete's School. I remember the new church being built in around the 50s. And there's a church, uh, there's a church school right over here, uh, Swedenborg Church. Uh -huh. And uh, I remember stare at school when it had a observatory on top. Oh, wow. And I believe Mr. Frick, his son Childs went to stare at school, but it was down there around the circle there. Uh -huh. And I think Childs Frick went there one year. And then Mr. Frick, I think, for, uh, paid for the telescope that went into the observatory. Beautiful. And then during the uh, 40s, my brother Bob told me that the Army Corps of Engineers came and took the telescope because they needed for the war, oh. war purposes. And so Point they, Breeze has yeah. really contributed. Yeah, in a lot right. Of ways. And I don't think it was ever returned. And then the observatory started to leak. And I guess the school board figured it was cheaper to take it off than uh, repair, it. repair it. But I remember, and I remember, I miss all the old trees. I call them witness trees that are oh. like 100 years old. We had like horse chestnut trees and potato buckeye trees and this and that. But through the years, all these trees have gone. In fact, there was a stream from. Uh, over in uh, Homewood Cemetery that went down here through Leeward Road, down past the store. And I remember back in the 40s, there were huge weeping willow trees oh. that I love, but they're all gone now, but there are several of them here yeah. because of that underground stream. And you're not allowed to plant them now in the city because of sewers. Right, right, yeah. right. So this is one of the last places that have yeah, weeping willows. Right. Yeah, and uh, also, I could tell you about Homewood Cemetery. Mm -hmm. uh, that was part of Judge Wilkins' estate, and I think it was raised in 1849. Wow. And Judge Wilkins, Wilkins Avenue, and then there was another straight uh, uh, state down here called the Armstrong, Armstrong Townhouse, and it was torn down in my age, and I remember that, and... Uh, now there's a cul-de-sac there called Penrose, and that was the name of the estate. And right down here where uh, 
Hartwood Drive is. Uh -huh. There was another estate I remember. It was, I believe, the Woodwell estate, and there's still a Woodwell house on Lang Avenue. And Mrs. Woodwell, uh, the Gilded Age, she was at this like 100 years ago. She had a beautiful gardens. And what she brought back from England were black squirrels. I were, and you still see black squirrels yes, in you, East End. I had yeah. never seen one, and, and I came from Oklahoma and just thought I was, yeah, was am I yeah. really seeing this? And what they would do in the old, back in those days, was they would, my brother told me this because he's a little older, so they would open their gates for the gardens and you'd see the maids. There were a lot of maids with white dresses pushing these prams, the children, and they would go through the gardens back in those oh. days. And then I do remember over the hill there, it's still Point Breeze, but the Thaw Mansion, and that's another story. I don't know if you've ever heard of Harry K. Thaw and Stanford White mm -mm. and Evelyn Nesbitt Thaw. Well, it's a big murder case. We won't go into that. Ooh, wow, history. But, <laughs> Ooh but, uh, but uh, I remember the Thaw Mansion. You know. So we do. you have a lot of landmarks here. And this oh, place yeah. has a steep with history. Yeah. And, oh, and, yeah, yeah. Definitely. and a lot of writers here. Okay. David McCullough lived up here in Glen Arden Drive. Annie Dillard, who won the Pulitzer Prize. In fact, I don't know what she won it for, but she did write American Childhood. Okay. And then I knew other people like Paul Kennedy wrote some books, Michael Trench, Eric Jerpy. So there were several writers in this area. Well, I know we have actors. I used to go to the park here to memorize monologues, Shakespeare, did especially you? my Shakespearean uh -huh. monologue. Go right across the street from the frick in the park, just yeah. sit in that pavilion yeah. and work on my, my monologues or any scripts I was yeah. working on when I was much younger. Yeah, <laughs> was, yeah. oh, That's I love right. being here. Yeah. Do you think that, um, you have a small business area here in Point Breeze. Do you think that um, it would behoove or it would improve the neighborhood if we had a larger business area in Point Breeze, or do you like it just the way it is? I sort of old-fashioned, I like it the way it is. It's nice now, why change it? Yep. Why spoil it? If it ain't broke, don't fix yeah. it. You know what the, the best kept secret in Pittsburgh is? Right here in Point Breeze. Right here. It's the Frick. Yes, Because where can you go and get a free art museum? Free. A free car and carriage museum, and you should see the cars down there. We have about 18 antique cars and free parking. And the so, stage area is gorgeous. Yeah, and the grounds are gorgeous. Mm -hmm. Plus, there's an upscale cafe and oh, a gift new. shop. Okay. And a gift shop. And then, if you, for a small fee, you can uh, go through the mansion, the Frick Mansion, Clayton. Yeah. Well, before it was a tourist, where before you could go and tour it, yeah. there actually was a Frick that was still living there when we were kids. I, and we would trick or treat there. Yeah, I met her, Helen yeah. Clay Frick. Yes, Mrs. Uh, Helen Clay Frick. She lived to be 96. She was born 1888, died 1984. And how I met her was when she opened her art museum in 1970, she had three openings. She had her New York Society opening, uh -huh. her Pittsburgh Society opening. Then she had an opening for the neighbors, which was very nice. Yes. And our family was invited down, and she sat in the theater, and we lined up the neighbors. And Virginia Lewis, who was her personal secretary, would introduce us to uh, Miss Frick. And it was really a pleasure. And uh, I always say, well, we wormed our way in because Virginia Lewis was a customer of ours, so we got in <laughs> That's there. That's why you got in, because your family used to own uh, the, the, the market. market. Right. Well, my parents opened it in 1941, and thank the Lord, my brother and I sold it in 2000. Oh, my brother Bob, yeah. Beautiful. And we used to see Miss Frick come over. She was registered to vote right here at Starrett School. We, in 1981, we'd go trick-or-treat in her house, and she wouldn't give out candy. She gave out half dollars. Is that right? Yeah, wow. it made you want to go home and change your costume and do it all over again. <laughs> I did not do that. But I made you want to. Yeah, so. If you were to have uh, somebody come in from out of town and visit Point Breeze, where's the first place you'd take them here? I'd take them to the Frick Park Market, where I worked all my life. Absolutely. And they make great sandwiches. And it's super. They cook hot food. It's great. Mm -hmm. And then I would take them down to the Frick. The, to the Frick and Museum. And do all that. You, you can spend that. three hours down there. You sure can. Yeah. And the really paintings, nice. the artwork is beautiful. Yeah, it's fantastic. Beautiful. It's really good. Well, we went through landmarks, and we've gone through famous people that have come here, and we've gone through um, what, what, what you'd like to see in 25 years, which is to keep it right the way it is, which I think is great. What do you think about public transportation through here? I know it's changed all over Pittsburgh, but is it still? Oh, uh, it's fine. I remember the streetcars on Penn Avenue, but uh, we have the uh, Squirrel Hill Homewood bus, which is nice for the folks here in Point Breeze if they want to go to Squirrel Hill or what have you. 
This bus line is great. We love it. Yeah. Like but we, we didn't mention over in Homewood Cemetery, there's some famous people over there. Oh, yeah. The Hineses are over there. The Hineses had a mansion down here at the corner of Lang and Penn and two blocks down Lang where Westinghouse Park is. That's where George Westinghouse's mansion was. It was called Solitude. Hines is what's called Green Lawn. Over in Carnegie Place, Thomas Carnegie lived. So there's a melon melon buried up there. Mm -hmm. There's the Hineses and uh, the Fricks are up there. All the Fricks are there, plus Earl Gardner. I think he was an African-American musician. Yes, he was. Yeah, and uh, well, you, you Jock know, Sutherland you know, you and know, Pie Trainer. You know that uh, stone wall on um, North uh, uh, South Lang? Yeah. That was a part of Mr. Westinghouse's estate of that. And our home that we lived in was a, one of his estates for uh, the, the gatekeeper. Okay. The, the groundskeeper. Yeah. So okay. we had a, a, a stairway to go up that you came in the living room and a back stairway for the servants. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Very nice. I yeah. really miss this area. Yeah. It's a beautiful. This is Ron, great. I want to thank you for inviting us to Point Breeze. Well, Blessings to thank you. Thank you. It's you my pleasure. Beautiful neighborhood. Thank, thank you, very you very much. much. Right. Thank you.